Welcome back to a new video. Okay, so today we'll be looking at the calendar. Now let's just create a new BCLS Forms application. We resize this a little bit. Now what we'll need is one calendar. Don't get it confused with one calendar. Get one calendar and then one edit and one button. So let's get that. Alright, so here we have a calendar, a button, and an edit. Now, what we want to do is we want to put a date in this button, then when they or in this edit, then when they click on this button, wait, you guys know what? Remove this edit, delete. We want a spin edit. So here we have a spin edit because this will make the whole process of making sure it's only integers and stuff like that a lot easier. Um, of course, it's still easy if you even if you don't use it specifically. But anyways, so let's just do this. So then let's rename the button to set date. And then we give it a name of BTN set date. There's no real specific name for calendars as far as I know. So I'm just going to go calendar because there's no reason to not have it calendar. So, first thing we're going to do, so we're going to um, limit this to only two numbers. So you can go here to maximum value and minimum value, and you can also change that if you want, and max length. So when you go two, it will stay at two. So we're going to code this in. We're, we don't want to do that. So, first we go to events, whoopsie. First we go to events and then we go to on activate. We go E wait. Okay. Set date dot max length and then we're going to make it two because we don't want them to put in something like one hundred, you know. Ninety-nine is a for the max. Then we're going to go set date dot nope set eight dot max value and we're going to put that at 31 and then yet again set eight dot minimum value and we're going to make it one because we didn't want them to put in zero because there is no date such as zero. Okay, so then we can just save all. Okay, now that I have saved it, we can continue. So now we have set a minimum value, a maximum value, and a max length. Easy as pie, right? So now we can here go to set date. We can open it up. So now we go to we should click on this and we should put the value up to one. Here as you can see here value, we can make it one. We can hard code that in if you want, but we don't want to do that right now. Okay, so then we go to calendar dot day becomes and then edt 
I mean, acd date dot value. These are both integers they taken. So if we go, if we're going to run this, then we should get a right output. So let's make this the fifth. As you can see, it went to five. Now you can all just click there and do what you want, but this is best to do. So then we can go 15, set date, 15. All right, but now we want to be changing the month and the year. So let's go to the design. But we don't want to get confused, so we're going to be going here and saying label. Month. We can just change the name to SED month. ACD year. Now it is actually during good practice to put them all in a way that you can read it. So ACD day. Now we should just go back to the code and edit it. So now let's do the month. Now what we can do is we can do this. We can do exactly this but to the month but we won't be doing that since we want to try out more things so we're going to set the max length to 2 the maximum value to 12 and the minimum value to 1 because you can't have a month less than 0 and then we're going to change the value to 1 See, is enough. Then we go to year. We're going to give it a max and minimum as well. So max length is four because it shouldn't have more than four. Max value should be let's say twenty fifty. So they shouldn't be able to go past that. Minimum value should be. 1990 and then the value we can make that 2000 but actually it's 1990 should be a good place to start since it's the minimum and you can just take it up if you had a drop down list it should would have been a little bit better but we don't have that right now so then we can just code it and let's see that all of the restrictions work so here, can we have more than two? No, we can't. More than two? No. More than four? No. Okay, and if I'm correct, you should be able to go up to 13. Yeah, you can go up to 13, you can even go up to 14. But as soon as you press any of these, it won't accept it as well if you click away. So you can put something higher in, but it will restrict you to those specific times. So 32 isn't an option. And 3000 is an option either. Okay, so that's good to note, right? So then we can close that. And now we can set date. This should be easy. We can actually just copy this and stuff. Yeah, so let's copy this. It should be a quite fast. Control C, V, V. Now, calendar isn't calendar.day anymore. It's calendar calendar.month. Because we want to change the month now, so SED month dot value, and then here is SED year dot value and calendar dot year. Pretty easy compared to most languages. We can run it. There should be no errors, and then we can change it to however we want. So we make it day five of month three in the year 2000 set date 
and there we can always make it month 8 set date there you go now we can't see the month but there are ones where we can see the month and you can put them on yourself if you go here to search for calendar then you get month calendar which does give you a few extra details but it's small and you can't really resize it you know so it's not really the best option to have that's why i told you guys to get the normal calendar so you can resize it even if you can't see the specific date right now so yeah thank you all for watching that's all you had to know about calendars don't worry too much about them uh, I am in grade 11 now and I haven't written one test on calendars just yet. So this is just for extra info, for in case. And yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.